I'm definitely leaving Chiang Mai. Yeah. It's Found your new home. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Bikes all packed. Say goodbye to the swimming pool. Been a great little room. Really enjoyed it. Had an amazing breakfast today. Loads of mangoes and bananas. Maybe 800 calories. Uh, a bit low, but um, I'm, it is what it is. That's all the food I had. Uh, I'm now going to go for a bit of a long cycle ride today. I've got my, my passport's ready at 4 o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock. So I'm going to explore all the south of the island of Bali. Not the south, the little football that hangs off the end. And then head back up to Denpasar to pick up my visa and then on to Abud, hopefully. <laughs> I navigated this course to go to the south of the island, very south, where there's a nice raw food restaurant on a hill on a surface beach. And then turn back, go back to Denpasar, pick up my passport, then go to Abud, but I'm abandoning it, man. Look at this fucking traffic. It's just like, it's no fun. It's just like, you, they don't give a fuck. You're constantly having to really watch yourself. You can't even be assertive here. Because if you're assertive, they'll just fucking run you over. It's like, it's a bit like India. Um, it's a similar culture in that respect, where they just don't give a fuck about safety. It's like a karma thing, like if I'm supposed to die, I'm supposed to die. I think it's, it's, a, it's a brand of Hinduism here. And they just look at it, it is just mental, continuous, mental people on motorbikes and cars relentless non-stop i've had enough i'm out of here i'm going north fuck kuta fuck the south i'm getting out of here. i don't give a shit this is just not worth it this is not worth it it's fucking mental i'm out i've come back to divine earth for lunch got about 20k today i was hoping to do 40 but Halfway on that journey I gave up and I've come back here for some just niceness and some more of that. <laughs> it's my favourite place. So this one's called Samadhi, it's banana day cheese, vanilla chia, maca, strawberries and coconut milk. Quite a lot of fat but it's raw. So I just took my blood sugar and it's 6.7, which is normal, but it would be after that long bike ride. Now I'm gonna see what it's like after this meal, if it's spikes at all. So this is a raw onion bread sandwich with cashew mayu and salad. And this one is a satay, a tempeh satay. It just looks really good, amazing. So I've just finished that meal and it's stuffed. And uh, well, I finished about an hour ago. And my blood sugar reading was um, 7.7. .7. That's incredible that I can eat that much food, feel full, and have no blood sugar spike. So I'm a bit confused. Um, you know, when I do the fruits, I feel good, but my blood sugar spikes every time. So 7, 8, 9, 10 sometimes. And if I make a little error, it really, go, it really goes goes high. So, you know, I, I'm definitely staying vegan. I want to do high carb vegan, but you know, what's going on here is I'm having this food that's absolutely delicious. I feel so satiated. I don't have to make anything or make any decisions and wash up or anything like that. And uh, wow. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna explore this more on this journey. We'll see how it goes. Check out this junction in Bali, right? People come off this traffic here, along here, and you're met with oncoming traffic here. Watch, see this guy on a motorbike? He comes around there and he has to cross over and those guys are coming up. Look, who designed that? Who thought of that? I nearly died coming around that. You know, look, watch this car. 
he comes round. Hello, oncoming traffic. So, these are the rules of riding a bicycle in Bali. Number one, you're invisible. Number two, because you're invisible, hand signals mean nothing. Number three, because you're invisible, every other vehicle wants to be exactly where you are. Number four, the invisible gap that you leave is an indication for everybody waiting to pull out. And number five, if you get hit by a car, you are no longer invisible. <laughs> Worst road rules ever. Really so bad. Do not ride a bicycle in Bali. I, I just wouldn't recommend it. I, I... Yeah, it's a tricky one. Maybe I would just get the minibus up to a bud where it's probably really quiet. But I mean, I don't mean all of Bali, but Kuta and then Pasar, it is, it is mad. It is absolutely nuts. It makes Chiang Mai seem like a, a cycling park. So I'm outside a Thai embassy in Denpasar, Bali. And it probably is the easiest visa run I've ever done. This is the building here, someone's house. Little Thai flag. I came here and basically uh, one day you take it, then you bring it back. Uh, so one day you take it, then you wait one day, then you come back, pick it up. You have to have the flights to go in and out of Thailand. But there's no queues, there's no people, there's this lovely fellow over there, <laughs> right? That's all there is and it's like, it's just really easy to do. And it's about 500,000 rupee per entry. But if you have the flights already booked, going in and out of Thailand, then it's a great option to do. So I'm about 8k outside of Kuta on my way to Abud and it hasn't got any better. It's fucking, it's just still loads and loads of traffic. I can't believe what's happened to this island. Humans are mad. Like I'm really tolerant of change, right? But fucking hell, this used to be paddy fields, nothing. And now it's a bigger city than London. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's what, what, what on earth has happened here? There's just not one bit of greenery between here and between Kuta, between Kuta and a bud. Just this all the way. 20 kilometers of it. This is fucking shit. Seriously, when I came here in 1996, it was just like, you leave Kuta, you're on a really quiet road. Nothing happened in it. All the way to a bud. It's just, wow. It's horrible, to be honest with you. Maybe it wasn't horrible if you just got here. But if you've been here, hello guys. Yeah. If you, if you, if you haven't been here before, you think, oh, what a beautiful island, but I can't help. I hate to look back, but I can't help to think about how quiet and divine this place was. It's a big island, so I'm sure there's still places like that. But the, the rate of human growth here, the population growth, you just can't imagine. The main problem with the traffic here is this. See this truck here? Nobody stops to let me out. So you have to indicate, and even if you indicate, they don't let you out. They're stopping because I'm filming now, but it's insane. It's really, it's, I've never been anything like it. Look at it. Fuck it. See, look, watch this bike. No one gives a fuck. Two things that help is the sun mask. Oh, which is this one. Oh, I just cut my eye. This stops the sun from burning the face. It's actually really, really good, but it's shady now. So I've got a smog mask I'm gonna put on because I'm I'm like I'm in the countryside. And it hasn't stopped. Anyway, I'll stop complaining. I'm not really complaining. I'm just like, 
I just can't believe it. I just feel like, what's going on? Anyway, I'll put this on now. So I'm in a bud. Uh, just going around, trying to find my friend's house. I made it. That's about 60k I've done today. And half of that's been uphill. I'm nearly done now. Nearly run out of steam. But I find the house and uh, yeah, I think that's enough. Wow, adventures galore. I'm in the suburbs of Bali and I've, of a wood and I've found my friend's house. Is that one there? Oh. We have arrived. And I'm at another raw vegan restaurant. Got this amazing salad bowl and two slices of gourmet raw pizza. And I've got to say, I've dreamt of finding a place that's like a raw food heaven. And I think this is it. No washing up, no dehydrating, but an epic food. And I'm really enjoying it. What a day. 63 on the bike up here as well. So I'll speak to you soon. This is by far the best raw pizza I've ever had. It's really amazing. It's so good to taste it. Raw pizza. I mean, I've had raw pizza before, but this is yeah. just another level. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's another level. Like, raw pizza before is like, uh, it's raw pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> this is yeah. just like, they're another level. I'm definitely leaving Chiang Mai. Yeah. Found your new home. Yeah.